In Photoshop, you can use the patterns in many different ways, but you can also export them to other applications such as PhotoPaint, PaintShop Pro, etc. Now, how to do that? Well, I'm just going to go to the toolbox and I'm going to select the pattern stamp tool. Then a little palette will appear. Uh, this palette will show various patterns. Now, of course, you could use any other patterns. These are from graphicextras.com. They're the swirl patterns, find them pack 42. Now, when you actually scan over the various things, a little hint or tip pops up showing the size and dimensions. They are pattern 900 by 900. Now, just gonna go to file, new, just gonna quickly set the size to 900, exactly the same as the tar. 300 click OK then I'm going to go to layer new fill layer pattern now this creates a pattern layer click OK now I can go through the various patterns that are available in the set I'm just going to select one click OK now it's a seamless design now as long as I don't move the pattern at this point it is actually as the pattern so I'm going to go to layer flatten image then Save as, just going to quickly save that, click OK, and now it's basically just a standard pattern tile. Now I can just quickly show you, obviously I could use it in another application, but quickest, easiest way is just to quickly show you again in Photoshop, and that's going to go to File, Open, just quickly open it up, PSD, and then you can just go to Edit, Define Pattern, and click OK. And now just go to layer, new fill layer, pattern, click OK. And I'm just going to quickly show that it is the pattern I've just created. There is one.psd. So I'm just going to select that one. And I'm just going to quickly set the size, reduce it down to 25. So you can actually see that it's seamless. Yeah, move it around. So you set it to 50, set to 100, and you can actually see there's no seams there. Click OK, that's it. Quick, easy way of creating a pattern file.